What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over negative keywords for Google Ads search campaigns and display campaigns. So I'm going to go over exactly how they work for both campaign types and I'm going to start with search campaigns. So the first thing I want to go over are negative keyword match types. So you have the same exact keyword match types for negative keywords as you would for keywords that you're actually targeting, which would include negative broad match keywords, negative phrase match keywords, and negative exact match keywords. Now the main difference to note here at the bottom is there are no close variants for negative keyword match types. So close variants are defined as synonyms, singular or plural versions, and misspellings. So for example, if I'm using a negative broad match keyword, it's going to remove targeting for that one word or more words from a campaign, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean by that as I get into the next step. Negative phrase match will remove a specific phrase from your campaign. So that means if someone misspells the phrase or they're using synonyms or a plural version of the phrase, it's not gonna exclude it. So it's gonna be a specific phrase from your campaign. And the negative exact match is gonna be that exact keyword will be removed from your campaign. So to show you an example here, so first over here on the left hand side, we have negative broad match and the way you would target a negative broad match keyword for example, if I wanted to target the negative broad match keyword farmhouse decor, that would remove any search term that contains farmhouse and decor in it. So some examples would be farmhouse bathroom decor, farmhouse style wall decor. Now the negative broad match would also exclude these keyword examples over here as well. So basically any search term that contains these two words, or if I were just, just target something like farmhouse here, then any search term that contained farmhouse would be removed altogether from my campaign targeting. Now next is negative phrase match. So this is gonna remove this exact phrase, farmhouse decor, you can see it has quotes around it. That would move, remove that exact phrase from our campaign targeting. So remove search terms with that phrase. Some examples, so bathroom farmhouse decor or farmhouse decor for walls. Now, if I'm targeting the negative phrase match of farmhouse decor, it wouldn't remove these search term examples over here because it doesn't have that exact phrase in it. Now, last but not least is negative exact match, and that will just remove the exact search term farmhouse decor or whatever your negative exact match keyword is. So you're gonna see the example here is just one example. Now, for close synonyms and misspellings, if someone were to misspell farmhouse, then any of these keyword match types would not work. So if someone were to go into Google, for example, and they typed out farmhouse decor, and let's just say they forgot the E at the end of farmhouse, then any of these negative broad match keyword examples, negative phrase match, or negative exact match keyword examples would not remove that search term from our campaign. So that's what I mean when I say close variance. When you're targeting keywords on the Google search network, it's gonna include a lot of different variations of those keywords, whereas negative keywords have to really be exactly what people are typing in. So let's open up Google Ads and go over a couple of examples here. Now, if we are targeting phrase match and exact match keywords, so if we're actually targeting those keywords, for example, I went over farmhouse curtains in my keyword match type video, where I targeted phrase match, exact match, and broad match keyword variations. And the main thing is if you're targeting highly relevant keywords as phrase match keywords, and we just look at the search terms here, you're gonna see a lot of relevant search terms. Now, you might wanna add negative keywords for something like Joanna Gaines. So the way that I would do that is I would click on this here, I would add it as a negative keyword, and all I would do is change here is get rid of the brackets and just enter the name here. So we'll just get rid of Okay, so this would be a negative broad match keyword type and basically any search term that contains the name Joanna Gaines in it would be removed and I usually use them at the campaign level. You can use them at the ad group level as well. So it really depends on how you're adding negative keywords. Now the other thing is negative keyword lists, which I'm going to go through in about 30 seconds here. But let's just say we add this negative keyword to our campaign, we click on save. Now any search term that contains Joanna Gaines in it will not be included in our search campaign. Now one thing you might wanna look up first is how these keywords are performing. So in this case, this keyword did actually drive me a conversion, so it might not be something I wanna remove from my campaign, but I'm just showing this to you as an example. Now the other thing we can do is, let's just say we know some different negative keywords we wanna to add to our campaign. We could just click on negative keywords here. So if we click on negative keywords, you can click on the plus sign, you can see the one we just added. We can click on the plus sign. We could either use a negative keyword list that we've already built, 
or we can add negative keywords directly to our ad group or to our campaign. So let's just say, for example, I wanna remove the keyword free. So anybody who's searching for something that's free, I wanna remove that from my campaign altogether. So the way you would do that is with a broad match keyword like free. Now to go over some of the different match types here, let's just say, for example, I wanna remove anybody who's searching for the phrase free curtains. Now, if I were to just enter free here as a negative broad match keyword, it would also ex exclude free curtains, but I just wanna show you some of the different examples. So if you're adding a negative phrase match keyword, this is how you would do it. So then any search term that contained free curtains would be removed altogether from my campaign targeting. And let's just say I wanna remove free farmhouse curtains from my campaign altogether. The way that you would exclude that exact match keyword is by putting brackets around it. And now if we click on save, you're gonna see three new negative keywords added. And if we look over here on the right hand side, you could see they have different match types. So just a different ways to show you how negative keywords work on the search network. Now the other thing I wanna show you are negative keyword lists. So you find your negative keyword lists by going to tools and settings. Under shared library, you're gonna see negative keyword lists. So I've already opened this page and I actually have a negative keyword list here. So basically what you can do is click on the plus sign, enter a bunch of keywords here. You can easily change the match types or you could just enter them with the modifiers that we showed. So a negative phrase match would be like this and then obviously brackets around a negative exact match. So we're gonna click on cancel for now and you can see some of the different negative keywords we have here. So people who are looking for careers or books or articles, they're probably not actively looking to buy farmhouse type decorations. So what I could do is once I have all my keywords added here, we'll click on the X, you can select your negative keyword list, apply it to a campaign, and I can apply this to my display campaign and my search campaign. Now I'm not gonna do the display campaign right now, but if I click on apply, now I have a negative keyword list added to my campaign. So the last thing I wanna go over, and we'll come back over here, is if you are looking specifically at an ad group, and maybe your ad group, you're targeting broad match keywords, you wanna remove some irrelevant searches from your campaign, but you're not sure where to start. So if we click on our broad match ad group here, you can see the keyword we're targeting is farmhouse keyword, farmhouse curtains, a broad match type. So what we can do is click on search terms for this individual ad group. And when we looked at the top search terms, there was a bunch here that I really wouldn't want to target. So for example, something like bedroom curtain, curtains and drapes is not really something I want to target. I want to make sure people are looking up country or farmhouse or rustic style kitchen, kitchen curtains or any type of curtains that are related to farmhouse. So most of these are pretty relevant, but something like curtains Canada, what I could do is click on this, add it as a negative keyword, and generally what I would do is add this to the campaign level and just use Canada. So I would just remove Canada altogether and we'll click on save. So that's how you would add some different negative keywords and going through the search terms report is a great way to do that. Now you don't need to focus too much on negative keywords if you are actually tracking conversions and using some of the different smart bidding strategies like target return on ad spend or target CPA or even maximize conversions because what Google Ads is gonna do is it's automatically gonna keep optimizing your campaign. Now something like free and affordable, depending on what you're selling, you might wanna add those as negative keywords. So the last thing I wanna go through is if we come back out to all of our campaigns here and we click on our display campaign. So once we're in our display campaign, if we click on our ad group and you can go into any of your ad groups here and we just come down to content and we click on display and video keywords and then click on plus keywords here, what you're gonna see up at the top is edit all targeting. So when we click on edit all targeting, it's gonna allow us to create some negative keywords for our campaign. Now negative keywords on the display network work differently than on the search network because people aren't actively targeting or typing in keywords when they are searching for things on the display network. They are just going and looking at different websites, YouTube videos, different things like that. So if we click on add targeting signals and we click on keywords here, what you can see is targeted keywords and negative keywords. And what you're gonna see is choose terms related to your products or services to target relevant websites. So if we click on negative keywords here, it's gonna say prevent your ad from showing on content related to these words. So you're not removing specific keywords from your targeting, you're basically using keywords to remove specific content from your targeting. So if I edit negative keywords, you could do it for this ad group, I can do it for this campaign. So we'll just say this campaign. And let's just say, for example, I enter recipes 
and sports. If I enter those two keywords, then what it's probably gonna do is remove my ads from a website like allrecipes.com. So you can see a Google ad at the top here for MailChimp. So it's gonna remove my ad from websites like All Recipes, or for example, for ESPN, so they usually have an ad up top here, it will remove, there it is, so it'll remove my ads from ESPN altogether. So that's the way that negative keywords would work on the display network. You're gonna add negative keywords and it's gonna remove those types of content. Now, I don't generally do this because I'd rather just leave this open, see what works, and if I'm getting a ton of clicks from either specific websites or something that isn't converting for me, usually Google Ads isn't gonna keep showing your ads on the same exact types of content if it's not converting. So that's kind of how I look at the, the display network and even negative keywords on the search campaign. I prefer to kind of let Google Ads do a little bit of testing on its own and then I only really remove things if I really feel it's not gonna convert at all. So hopefully that all makes sense. This is a quick overview for how to remove negative keywords from search campaigns and from display campaigns and then also how to use negative keyword lists in your shared library, how to create them and then add them to your search campaigns. And you could use them for display campaigns as well, but I generally don't do that that often. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.